What's going on guys, this is Kedar here. Today in this video, $2400 social security boosts or $200 per month benefit increases for social security beneficiaries. And this one including people on social security, SSI, SSDI, survivors, retirement, VA beneficiaries, RRB, people on low income, fixed income, pretty much everyone underneath the social security radar. Guys, finally we have got some details. It is the highly anticipated $2400 $1400 social security boost that everybody is expecting and many people right here into the community have been eagerly waiting for this very important update. We'll be covering all the details including the latest update where we currently stand on this very important social security increases or social security boost and most importantly people are asking this very important question when we are going to receive this $2400 benefit increases what's really going on with the social security expansion act is it passed is it approved or not what's really going on and what's the current congress is doing with the social security expansion act and also most importantly we are going to break down the schedule for the social security benefits this one including ssi ssdi va social security beneficiaries so without further ado let's cover the, all the exact dates when those benefits will be heading out so without further ado let's get right into all the details however guys before we start this video thank you so much for joining with me if you haven't yet subscribe make sure to subscribe to our channel how to guys turn on all the bell notification to stay updated to all the latest details when it comes down to stimulus update fourth stimulus check social security benefits we provide latest updates so be sure to stay subscribed and turn on that bell notification to stay informed and make better financial decisions and without further ado let's deep down to all the important details and let's talk about the two thousand four hundred dollar social security boost all right guys so speaking of the two thousand four hundred $200 social security boost as you may recall a few years ago lawmakers introduced $200 per month raise for the beneficiaries social security beneficiaries few of the politicians like Bernie Sanders Senator Bernie Sanders Miss Warren and couple of other lawmakers you know they have been pushing hard for this $200 per month benefit raises for all the social security beneficiaries and apart from the $200 benefit raises across the board benefit increase for pretty much all all the beneficiaries all the social security beneficiaries they were also proposing the computation of the cost of living adjustment increase so for calculating the cost of living adjustment they were proposing to use the cpie figure which is better adapted for the elderly people and there are a couple of other benefits to this social security expansion act now 200 dollars per month benefit raise as proposed in the social security expansion act this was supposed to be for the short-term boost however guys none Nothing has ever came up from the Social Security Expansion Act and many of us were left disappointed. Now, last year, Senate Democrats reintroduced the same exact proposal for the Social Security Expansion Act with some key differences. The key differences being the new proposal would be a long-term boost that would last for around 73 years that is until 2096 and this proposal is the part of the social security expansion act which has been gathered a lot of attention from social security beneficiaries and that's obvious because many people are in desperate need of this very important 200 dollars per month benefit boost now it's very important to note that the boost would provide 2400 dollar to beneficiaries over the course of the year that is 200 dollars each month added to their social security benefits this would be life-changing for many people who rely on the social security benefits itself as the main source of their income and additionally this boost would be for the long term providing much needed stability for the social security beneficiaries and the social security itself some of the changes proposed in the bill would actually extend the solvency of the social security by you know increasing the inflow of the money into the social security payroll taxes basically putting those taxes on those wealthy individuals that will ensure the sustainability of the social security so that social security remain insolvent for until 2096 and you know speaking of the social security's potential insolvency you know the possible changes that congress may make to into the program in the upcoming years well first let's talk about the insolvency issue as many of you know that the social security is facing potential issues into the program as per the current estimates the program may become 
end solvent by 2034. However, if the insolvency date gets moved closer to the present date, then lawmakers may be more likely to act to make more changes into the social security and Congress will have to act on this very important issue at some point because you know what, they are running out of a time and social security is not going anywhere. Although there are some financial issues with the social security, it's not something that lawmakers will leave alone. Congress will be forced to act to come up with different solutions or piece of legislation to reform the social security and do something for the beneficiaries. They could even implement a raise in the benefits or adjust the cost of living adjustment and there could be many other possibilities as well. However guys, whether the congress will make any sort of a changes or not totally depends on the new congress and the new lawmakers and this congress may not be the one will make all the changes but they can start the process of making all those changes and we'll need to continue watching them very very closely in the next few years as the congress in place right now it's up to them whether they will make the changes or not as far as the social security expansion act is concerned maybe they will do something about it cherry picking some of the piece of legislation you know taking out some of the reforms taking out some of the provisions amending the social security expansion act and you know what many lawmakers agree that no older adults or people with disabilities should ever need to live in poverty in the america and we already know that republicans do not want to raise the taxes in, in any way shape or form which would definitely force all the lawmakers to do something to ensure that the program remains solvent making sure that all the benefits are payable to those those hard earning people those beneficiaries were eligible for in conclusion we need to keep a close eye on to the updates from the congress over the upcoming weeks and months anything goes between the social security and fixed income benefits but as of right now guys two thousand four hundred dollar boost or two hundred dollars per month benefit raises has not been approved but this is something congress introduced not too long ago and this is a step in a right direction now guys coming over to the social security benefit payment schedule for the april month well guys check this out in the month of april typically you know what ssi beneficiaries receive their payment on first of the april but that's not going to happen in the month of april because the first of the april is landing on saturday which is a weekend or holiday and therefore you'll be getting your first of the april ssi payment one day early so be sure to watch out 31st of the march 2023 for your ssi benefits all right guys moving forward the next important date is the 3rd of the April. So if you have received social security before May 1997 or receiving social security and SSI together then be sure to check out 3rd of the April for your social security benefits and for SSI benefits do check out 31st of the March. Alright moving forward 12th of the April is the next date and we are talking about social security beneficiaries. First group of social security beneficiaries receiving the payment on 2nd Wednesday 12th of the April. So if your birthday falls between 1st to 10th of the month then be sure to check out 12th of the april for your social security benefits do check out direct express card mail bank account for your payments the next important date is for the second group of beneficiaries so if your birthday lies between 11th to 20th of the month then be sure to check out third wednesday which is 19th of the april so be sure to check out direct express card mail bank account for your benefits the next important date is a week later it's the 26th april 2023 now we'll be going to receive their payment on 26th of the april last group of social security recipients whose birth date falls between 21st to 31st of the month be sure to check out fourth wednesday or 26th of the april for your social security benefits thank you so much for watching this video till then make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and this is kedar from how to guys signing out